released directly. A judge ordering Migos rapper Quavo to pay nearly $700,000 for hitting a valet at the win back in 2018. Antonio Henry, a former worker for the Encore, says Quavius Marshall injured him physically and emotionally. Marshall's lawyer had said Henry was not injured and was instead in a pursuit of what he called a hip-hop lotto ticket. The jury disagreed and ordered that that payout happen today. Police issued Quavo a citation. However, the case does not appear in any court record. And we're also getting Aiden Ross's lawyers to pursue legal action towards Quavo and his team. You're probably not going to give us the money back. We are going to sue you with the best lawyers, and it's going to cost you money to defend yourself. But it's about the money, and it's also about the principle. You don't fuck with me, bro. You're the man of my word. I'm going to do everything I can to get that money back. I love it. Every Quavo post that go on TikTok everywhere, you guys say, give Vitaly money back. I love it. And yeah, that's not cool, bro. That's not cool. Just taking my money like this. I'm not taking And Then guess what? If I do get guys, you guys know Quavo's people, and also... He could have came on the stream, got paid, and been a hero catching, but now he's holding L's. He endorsed Kamala Harris, uh, saying protect about violence. Mother, all you do is rap about violence, and uh, and uh, and so now you're walking L, and I need my money back. It's either, and we're also getting Aiden Ross's lawyers to pursue legal pin, action towards Quavo and his team. I have nothing against Quavo. I was the biggest fan. I'm not a fan anymore. I'm done, and I know one. A person's not gonna make a difference, but it is gonna make a yeah, difference exactly, exactly. When, when you went on the podium with a Kamala yeah, Harris right. and now the whole world is against you. So, walking out, and yeah, I know more stuff about you. We are gonna sue you with the best Jew lawyers, and it's gonna cost you money to defend yourself. It's the, about the money, and it's also about the principle. I'm gonna do everything I can to get yeah, that yeah, money yeah. back. So, Quavo is not coming. I can, he's, not, he's, he's, done. he's done. He's not coming. He took our deposit, right? Yep, <laughs> yep of course. Don't Black people thing, but. <laughs> <laughs> Quavo didn't show up on my stream, oh, okay. but he, I'm so happy he didn't because he endorsed Kamala Harris. I was a fan until you endorsed Kamala. Not a fan anymore. Sorry, Quavo. And I want my money back. We still haven't got our 50 G's back. And guess what? We're going to track the person down. We're suing everybody, bro. I'm fing out heads. Uh, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't think so. Right now, I, I believe in the duo, you know what I'm saying? Like like you just said, you played the game by loyalty. We just stand on loyalty. And, and, you know, like we said, like I said in the songs, like I said in everything, you know what I'm okay. saying? We stand what, on mother loyalty, and this is just about us and shit. When things ain't right, sometimes you got to goddamn move on, you know what I'm saying? When, when... When ego sometimes, but like I said too, you know, you know what I'm saying. When ego, anything get in the way, you gotta just sometimes just sit back and just watch what's going on and just see what's wrong. You know what I mean? If any anybody was wrong, it would be all along. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's got problems that they need to fix and shit. It's don't got nothing to do with no lawsuit. And, you know, P and Coach, they changed my life for sure. For sure. And, and, I and love them. Even when we got always. to that. When we got to that point, we felt like we had to get a lawsuit. I felt like that wasn't right. Wait, wait, you you, oh, lawsuit with, with who? Oh. With the with the QC and everything. Okay. You okay. know what I'm saying? So, just like when it, when you go back and just sometimes realize about when you realize how when you do something good, when you do something great, you got to appreciate that shit and keep going. You got to keep moving. Sometimes when you see bad seeds, you got to remove yourself from that shit and got now. Keep if it going. ain't broke, don't fix it. You feel me? And like I said, like movie, I mean your uh, life like a movie, you know what I'm saying? Like a like a book. Like I said, like people that's in the first scene or this first chapter, the second chapter, they ain't meant to be in the whole entire, you know what I'm saying? They part of your history. It it happened last night right near the popular spot, the wharf in Miami. And local ten news reporter Roy Ramos joins us live from there. He has some new details just into our newsroom. Roy. Yes, we have just learned that Migos rapper Quavo was aboard this vessel, and I can tell you that it was a rather large scene, multiple agencies responding to this possible armed robbery, FWC, along with Miami-Dade Police, City of Miami, and Miami Beach Police. This, of course, after we heard reports uh, that uh, the owner of that vessel was held at gunpoint, allegedly. Police ain't swarming a large yacht docked on the Miami River near the wharf Sunday night. City of Miami police said it was just before 9 o'clock their officers responded to a possible armed robbery aboard the vessel. It was kind of like an ambush from both sides, and that's when we got rushed out. We saw police holding guns rushing in. Uh, it's, it's a crazy scene, not going to lie. 
Cell phone video obtained by Local 10 show the moments police boats approached the yacht searching for suspects. While we are still working to find out if anyone was taken into custody, witnesses we spoke with said this all started when the client paid thousands of dollars to charter the vessel, then allegedly demanded the money back after returning from the trip. Patrons at the wharf watching the area outside of the popular bar quickly turning from a hot spot to spend a night out to a crime scene filled with law enforcement. All of a sudden there's like a police boat that came to the front and uh, people are just raising their hands up. Um, so we're kind of wondering what's going on. Proof Quavo bailed out takeoff suspect. Takeoff's case has gotten super interesting over the last few months. But what's crazy is the most insane part hasn't really been publicized. Takeoff suspect, better known as Patrick Xavier Clark, was released on bond not too long after being arrested. His bail was set at a million dollars, and nobody he knew could afford that, except for one person, the man himself, Quavo. It's said that Quavo bailed out Takeoff suspect because they're friends, and Patrick Xavier Clark accidentally hit Takeoff with a misfire.